right hello students today we will discuss about the consolidation of financial statements before going to discuss about the consolidation of financial statements we need to discuss about what do you mean by consolidation and the techniques of consolidation first thing combining the financial statements of subsidiary companies into the parent company can be called as consolidation consolidation nothing but combining the financial statements of subsidiary company into the parent company and the techniques of consolidation line by line consolidation one line consolidation and pro rata consolidation there are three types in case of consolidation one is line by line consolidation it can also be called as gross consolidation one line consolidation it can also be called as equity consolidation and third one pro rata consolidation it can also be called as proportional consolidation and the next thing line by line consolidation or gross consolidation in case of line by line consolidation there are two important aspects one is all the assets and liabilities of subsidiary company or added to the assets and liabilities of the parent company second one minority interest if the controlling interest is less than 100% is shown in the liability side of the balance sheet right there are two, two conditions or two components in case of line by line consolidation or gross consolidation all the assets and liabilities of the subsidiary company are added in the assets and liabilities of the parent company and minority interest if the controlling interest is less than 100% is shown in the liability side of the balance sheet so the problem h india limited acquired 75% of the equity share capital of james and company of usa on 1st april 2010 the balance sheet of two companies as on 31st march 2011 or as follows the h india limited liabilities assets so liabilities means equity reserves and payable assets land and building plant and machinery investment in james company stock receivables and cash the total is 8 lakh 25000 in both sides right and in case of james company liabilities assets liabilities equity reserves plant and machinery furniture stock and cash 1 lakh 20000 in both side requirement is prepare the consolidated balance sheet so the solution consolidated balance sheet right in before going to prepare the consolidated balance sheet we need to concentrate on working notes means uh, what we discussed in the first explanation we need to calculate the minority interest as well as goodwill in case of goodwill investment in james and company limited investment in james and company limited 75000 means in case of james and company correct 75% of investment how much 75000 75000 and value of equity shares value of equity shares is acquired in james and company means 75% of 80000 is 60000 total 75000 minus 60000 15000 is the goodwill 15000 is the goodwill and minority interest minority interest 25% of equity 20000 means 25% of 80000 plus minority reserve means in case of the problem total minority is 40000 minority reserve in case of james and company is 40000 40000 ke 25% in the sense 10000 is the amount so total 20000 plus 10000 30000 is the minority interest and the third condition all other assets and liabilities are added on one to one basis except equity except equity in a consolidated balance sheet and the next thing the consolidated balance sheet 
So, Nodi, in case of equity shares, 3 lakh as it is, what I said, all assets and liabilities are added on one to one basis except equity. So, equity in case of H limited is 3 lakh directly in the consolidated balance sheet. Reserve, reserve in case of this H limited, 5 lakh. James, 30,000. Why? Because 10,000 is the minority interest. You can you can see in the working note. Correct. James Limited, 40,000 is the minority reserve. Out of 40,000, 10,000 is the minority interest and 30,000 is the minority reserve. Nothing but 75% of 40,000. And the payables. Payables nothing but the minority interest, 30,000 as calculated in the working note. And in case of uh, asset side, goodwill is 15,000 calculated in the working note. Land and building, 2 lakh. Plant and machinery, 3 lakh plus 50,000, 3 lakh 50,000. Furniture, 25,000. Stock, 1 lakh 10,000. Means nothing but 80,000 plus 30,000. And receivables as it is, 1 lakh 20,000. And cash, 50,000 plus 15,000. Total, 65,000. So, total amounting to 8 lakh 85,000 in the consolidated balance sheet. 